What's happening YouTube? I'm Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to make a quick time lapse in Final Cut Pro X. So I have Final Cut Pro X 10.2, so the latest um, version. First of all, go to preferences here and for still images you can select, uh, I don't know, just make 0.2 for example. So just press enter and uh, close it. Now you're gonna have to make a new project. So I'll go to new project, name your uh, time lapse. So time lapse four, for example. You can select uh, 24 frames per second. That's uh, fine. So just press okay. And now you're gonna have to import uh, a whole bunch of uh, pictures. I do have some pictures that I took uh, yesterday. It's about 400 pictures uh, or so. So you're gonna have to import all these into Final Cut. So just go to File, Import, Media, and uh, find whatever uh, that folder is where you have the pictures and press Command A and uh, that way you're gonna select all of them and just press Import All. This may take a while depending how fast or slow your computer is. So now we have all the pictures uh, in the library here. So again, you're gonna have to press uh, Command A so you can select all of them. And now you have all the pictures selected. Just drag them to the timeline. So your computer will definitely slow down now. So now it's gonna have to process uh, all these pictures. But you see that uh, this is rather long, so a few minutes uh, long. If you leave it like this, it's gonna be 53 minutes or something, an hour. So that's uh, very, very long. So now that you have all of them selected, if you don't just press Command uh, All so you can select all of them, right click on one, change duration, and you can make this a four, for example. So press uh, Enter. And now it's about a minute long, so still uh, very, very long. So if you press play, it's gonna move, but uh, not the best. So you don't want that. So you're gonna right click again on it, change duration, and make it a one, for example. And just press enter. And now it's about 15 seconds uh, long. So now it's gonna look uh, much better. So just uh, press play so you can see how it looks. So now it actually looks uh, the way that uh, it should look. So you're gonna have to play with the duration depending on uh, what footage you have and how you want it to look. But this is just a quick example uh, how you're gonna have to make this. Now that you're happy with uh, the duration and uh, how it looks, just press file, share, export file, and select uh, whatever uh, quality you want and uh, press next and then you're gonna have the video all made. Alright guys, hopefully this video was uh, useful, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.